feeling after exiting the game uh, with, with an injury on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I feel all right. Uh, just kind of taking it day by day, just doing treatment, trying to get better every day. What was the uh, injury to? What was the injury to? Yeah, it was just left side of my body. <laughs> What happened at the hospital? I uh, just went downstairs, just got checked out a little bit. Um, just wanted to do a couple of further tests, make sure everything was all right. So got discharged, not good. Or got left there or something. What's your pump? You playing practice this week? What was that? You playing practice this week? Yeah, I was out there today. Um, just go the day by day, feel good. So. so you're confident you're going to play Saturday, or it's just kind of taking it day by day? Or Yeah, I mean, you always want to play. So I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure I, I can put myself in the best position. But I feel good. Drive. Uh, I know it was a little short-lived, obviously, because of the injury in the third, but still, you know, having that moment to end the half like that, you know, really jazzed up and everything. What was it like for you? Yeah, it was good. I mean, uh, I felt like we were just clicking, making plays together, um, playing playing the ball we wanted to play in the offense. So, definitely want to build on that. Um, yeah, I mean, went back and watched the tape. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to watch the rest of the game until after, but obviously there's, there's stuff you want to clean up in the offense. But I want to build on that, some good stuff there, but uh, got to correct some other stuff too. Coach Chris also kind of had this uh, you know, almost this newfound sense of optimism heading into this point of the season. You know, where do you feel like you're at? Uh, what's the locker room vibe at after a game like that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you don't want to be one and three in, in any season, any team. Um, but for us, it's really just looking at the season. It's a long season, you know, and we got a lot, of, a lot of other opportunities that we can grow and uh, maximize. And um, for us, it's just really going day by day and, and working together on being the best team we can be. And for us, it's uh, yeah, there, there's no heads hanging. Um, we know we've done up to this point. We know it's not been what we want to do. But um, in the end, we just control where we're going at this point. And uh, it's just growing up and being a pro about it and just attacking every day. Have you ever had an injury like this before to your chest like this? Or? Um, I mean, I've taken a lot of shots playing football. Um, it just got it. It just felt like another shot, but uh, the body just reacted a little different. So um, uh, it's just I'm, I'm used to taking shots like that. Nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing out of the ordinary. When could you realize this one's a little more severe to knock you off the rest of the game? Um, just after I got hit, just laying down, felt it, took a breath, and felt a little bit different. So I had to go get evaluated, just make sure everything was all right structurally and. Um, Oregon, so it's all good. If you can't go, what, what's just the confidence level? And, and what was that? If, if you can't go on Saturday, what's the confidence level that Chase can lead this offense to a win against yeah, I mean, Illinois? I got all my faith in Wolfie. I mean, we, we go through every week, every prep together, and um, yeah, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure I'm out there. So. And we talked before about little things that need to be fixed. If you had to pinpoint the, the bullet points of what you think needs to be fixed offensively, what are the main takeaways? I think it's just it's just playing together as far as run game, pass game, um, playing off of each other. Let, letting those two play off each other. Like letting the run game affect the pass game, the pass game affect the run game. Um, just kind of keep defense on their heels. Um, so I think a big thing for us is just playing good football, executing, um, getting every all 11 guys working together on every play. You turn on the tape, we got plays that are doing that. They're good plays. And, great plays, you want to build on them and do those as often as possible. So for us, it's just everybody be all in on, on every play and execute and just go on letting the run game, pass game kind of play off each other. So I'd say that's what it was. And you see how often defenses are putting eight plus guys in the box. Um, as a quarterback, what, what do you think? Like, disrespectful is not the right word because obviously they've got a plan and they think they're going to be able to execute it. But do you look at that and say, this is a defense that doesn't have space that I can no. beat them? Or I, I don't feel like that at all. No, okay. it's, uh, I mean, it's Wisconsin football. Um, we're kind of known for being really talented up front, getting the run game. Um, but for us, I, I never really, I, I know my worth. I know who I am. I don't let anybody dictate that feeling at all. So for me, it's just uh, it's just another game. It's what we're getting, we're getting handed. How, how are we going to react to it? How are we going to make plays? That throw to Ferguson in the second quarter where you placed it between two defenders, it looked like after that point, you know, you had really started to refine your rhythm. What did that throw do for you in that second quarter? And is that how you expect the offense to look, those two drives? Yeah, I mean, obviously you want them to look like that every drive. That's what we're striving for. Um, I'd say it just, uh, it, 
for me, it didn't really like do a lot. Just kind of like, honestly, my first response was, all right, what's the next play? Where are we going? Um, I don't really like try to ride that wave of, all right, completed pass. All right, now I'm doing good or incomplete pass. All right, now we're pressing. Like I, I never try to play that game. I just kind of play my own game in my head of, uh, all right, we executed that one. What do I got to do to make sure we execute the next one? So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously we got the drive going a little bit, but um, just got to keep. It's only it was a probably like 25, 30 yard play. Um, it's a longer field than that, so <laughs> for me, it's always about the next. You look always super pumped up after you get a touchdown to Jim Ray, like you went to the sideline. Um, what what was that play like? What what did that mean to you? It seemed like you were really. Yeah, I mean, we needed we like needed that. points, and doing that before half was big. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously it was, uh, we, we had like 32 seconds left. Um, ran, had one run play, and then had those two back-to-back -back plays that uh, I just, I knew Chim was going to go make a play, trusted him. Um, so for me, it was just, it was good to see him go do that. And, uh, you guys know, I always, I've always talked about Chim highly. Um, he's, it's just cool to see him kind of put it on the field and show everybody that he's kind of received it. So I was used for that. And, uh, I was just happy to help the defense out a little bit, put some points up. But obviously didn't get to continue doing that in the second half. But um, it was good. Great. No one really wants to be in the position to start out as important like this record was. So how have you seen yourself, this team, going through the adversities? And has it made this unit stronger? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we had uh, – I've talked to a bunch of guys, and the, the thing is, like, everybody to an extent in their lives has a, has a period of stuff like this. It's not probably not on a football field or any of that stuff, but it's, it's when you get handed stuff like that in your life, like, how are you going to deal with it? All right, you're 20 years down the road, um, you lose your job, your family's back. What are you going to do? You're going to sit back and dwell on it, and dwell on the past, and you can go find a job. So for us, it's like, trying to just think big picture, like, all right, your backs are against the ropes. What are you going to do? Are you going to swing back? Or are you going to keep his haymakers in the face? So for us, it's uh, we're ready to go. And everybody's got a good mindset on it. Uh, Very attacking it every day. Had a great walk through today. Um, we'll be ready to go. Can you at least walk us through Saturday? What was going to your mind? You get off the truck, you going to go to the hospital. Did you think I've got some broken ribs and I'm done? Or what was going to say? Um, honestly, didn't really know. I was just kind of trusting the doctors. I'm not a doctor when it comes to that. Just know I kind of I took a big shot. Um, it was this area over here. <laughs> didn't really know what. Um, but yeah, I went downstairs, got some extra tests, realized that it was, could be something else that we didn't know, so we could go check it out. But uh, yeah, we're all good. When did you get out of the hospital? Probably around six, something like that. I don't remember the exact time. Okay. I know Paul says you guys don't do a lot on a Monday compared to no. Tuesday and Wednesday in practice. Have you thrown a football field in the middle? Yeah. Okay. How did it feel? Good. Right hand, left hand? <laughs> right hand. <laughs> Were you able to watch the, the end of the Michigan game at all, or when did you kind of find out what happened? Uh, honestly, I, I went to the hospital, got some tests, so didn't really have TV until after I was waiting for the test. It got like the last two minutes. So I saw the final score. Didn't really get a chance to see it until uh, after it got released. I'd go home and pull my iPad. So um, that was really when I got my chance to kind of rewatch it. But, was it frustrating at all? You guys finally get some momentum, some sustained momentum going offensively. I'm guessing you guys felt really good going into halftime. And then you know you and Ferguson are out the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean, you want to, you want to build on it when you don't have a chance to. And, uh, Ferg, you never want to see Ferg anybody get hurt. So seeing him in the tent with me was kind of. Like, <laughs> but um, yeah, really wanted to build on that first half, but you don't have a chance. Graham, you know how much this running game, uh, how important it is to the offense. They haven't consistently had the success that they've won, which I'm sure you can say for all the groups on, on offense, but how do you feel like you can help get them get them going a little bit? Um, yeah, I think um, a bunch of things. And some might be game plan specific that okay. I can really, understand. but uh, a lot of it comes like during the week. I can't really, there's some stuff we're working on to do that, mess with them a little bit, but um, yeah, some pre-snap pre -snap stuff, but uh, Obviously, in the past game, it's just executing, opening up the run game a little bit more, trying to lighten the box a little bit, get some more defenders out there. So, um, 
like I said earlier, it's just trying to get the run game to the top of the pass game. Pass game the the game. So. A lot of your teammates were talking about how after the game they were texting you, they said they were going to try to get in contact with you and hear how you were doing. When were you first able to, to talk to them? And I know you're a guy that's a leader on this team. Do you have a message when you first got to see the guys, or what were those conversations like? Yeah, I didn't have my phone. Um, I just kind of left straight from here, so I didn't really have my phone um, until later. Uh, I know my mom was texting a lot of the guys that were texting her. So uh, for me, it was I got home and talked to my roommates and then kind of texted everybody back. Just let them know, okay, this is what happened. Um, all good. So it's definitely not fun, but um, good. I'm glad that we're here. So, was your mom already in town with your family in yeah, town for the game? Yeah, Thank you.